Let's take a look at the Windows 8 release preview with Internet Explorer 10 and improvements in performance, touch-first experiences, and HTML5 standards-based adaptive layouts. Touch is the primary way that users interact with the web on many devices today. We believe that web pages should just stick to the finger. They should remain fast and fluid while panning, zooming, and scaling content. This chalkboard benchmark measures how efficiently a browser can perform these common touch actions. The demo zooms in and out of a chalkboard while panning left, right, up, and down. You can see how Internet Explorer 10 is fast and fluid, and the benchmark completes in mere seconds. This is a great example of Internet Explorer's full hardware acceleration in action. Let's take a look at this in another browser. Here, in the latest version of Firefox, you have the same benchmark running the same markup and the same code. However, you have a much slower, jerky animation, and the benchmark completes in minutes rather than in seconds. This standards-based demo runs even slower in Chrome. You can try it for yourself. We won't wait for this to finish, but you can already see the difference. Let's move on to look at how Internet Explorer 10 enables developers to create touch-first experiences that are second to none. This demo takes some design cues from Microsoft Surface. We took the same experience from the photo application on Surface and built that functionality into the browser using standards-based markup in the new MS Gesture API. With the MS Gesture API, web developers have full access to the underlying hardware right inside the web platform. Notice that by touching or clicking a photo and dragging it, I'm able to remove it from the album. The demo understands when my finger or cursor has reached the edge of the album, and a small animation is played to indicate that the item has been removed from the album. I can continue to drag items in and out of the album. With multi-touch enabled devices, we can also scale and rotate items easily. I can also move multiple items at once. I can also pin and unpin an item from the desktop just using a simple hold gesture. While the iPad and Android have their own implementations of touch APIs, the MS Gesture API provides a far richer stick-to-the-finger multi-touch experience. Lastly, let's look at how HTML5 and Internet Explorer 10 enable you to build websites that adapt to your devices and screen sizes. In this demo, you see a basic HTML5 website. I can click on an image to see the details. I can also click on a slideshow to see multiple images scrolling across the screen. But this is no ordinary layout. This design is adaptive. Watch what happens when I use Windows 8 Snap feature to snap Internet Explorer 10 to the right. The layout has modified everything from the width of the page to the layout of the images vertically rather than in a grid pattern. Also notice that the layout of the image pages has changed. The comments are now below the image rather than to the right of them. Lastly, when I click on the slideshow, you'll notice that the images now pan up and down rather than left to right. We can also view this demo in IE on the desktop. Notice that as I resize the browser, the layout adapts to the window size. With this latest platform preview, IE10 continues to deliver the foundational features and performance that developers depend on to build great applications. You can download the Windows 8 release preview today, then you can try these demos and more at ietestdrive.com.